Hey guys, and welcome to part 8 of the Portal 2 playthrough, and we begin with classical music. <laughs> Where's the jazz? That's Wheatley's choice of music. Uh -huh. That's that's weird. He sa sounds a like page is turning, and he has no hands. Yeah. Just because you read Picture books. Picture books do not count. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, pop up books. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That was great. <laughs> right, this one we have to use again. Use the funnels again, and you see that platform with the button, folks. Yeah. We have to get ourselves ourselves there first, and then we have to use another velocity puzzle. This well, the same way we launch ourselves here, we have to do exactly the same with a cube. But the problem is because of the velocity, you have to be fast to catch it. Yeah. Oh, so you have to catch it in midair. Oh. No, when, when it pumps, is when it oh. pops, when it pops back <laughs> from the portal device, we, you got to use the you got to use the excursion funnel as velocity. So you got to catch the cube with the funnel first, then get it to go up to the ceiling, drop it down, then let it through, fly through the portal, and then catch it before it falls off the platform. So I knew that. <laughs> no, you didn't. That's the joke. So I shoot the wrong one. So I have to try again. This button will infinitely give you more, cube, more, more, more cubes when right. you need them. So wait till it's high enough, and then get be ready to catch it. Or Go! not? <laughs> uh, see what I mean? You have to be fast. Let's try again, like shall we? Flash. Yes. Hey, can you imagine if they put in just as a hat as a Kaizo trap? They put in orange gel in and made you slide off the platform. <laughs> there we go. So what's our reward? What she clearly doesn't. Nope. Because so, he's reading his pop-up books. <laughs> Is that our reward? Do we get his pop-up book? I don't think we. I don't think we want his pop-up book. Blue screen of death. <laughs> <laughs> Is that because he doesn't know what he's doing? Yes. Or... He's losing his mind. It's because he's expecting to get this really good etch every test, but he realizes now he's not getting it. Oh, look at that hard light platform. Uh, this, is a, this is a hard puzzle. Because, you see, turrets. You need to find a way to block them. And there isn't a, the, the white surfaces here that doesn't allow you to... It does allow you to grab the cube, but again, there's turrets in the way. Yeah. There is a trophy, actually. You see all these plasma screen TVs? You get a trophy for smashing every single one of them. <laughs> and I think I smashed this one here to prove it. Oh, does he call <coughs> you out for doing that? Ah, uh, yes, he does. Just like, <clears throat> vital testing apparatus is destroyed. Yes. Or I make up the platform and I drop the cube. So you got to use the highlight services to stop you from flying across the wall there. Put the cube in that button, but you also need the highlight service to block the turrets. So you're gonna have to go through out here, should the wall through there. It's a shame they're not the defective turrets, because that would have been hilarious if Wheatley put them there, thinking they were the right ones, but they're defective. Yeah. Are you are you absolutely sure you're solving these correctly? I mean, yes. Better you than you could. You made us do the easiest puzzle in the world twice. Ways. This is where oh, I no, kind of no, screwed up because I shoot the wrong portal. Oh, no, you're stuck there. Quick, out. <laughs> Search mode activated. Like, that's like the most uh, ominous yeah, smashed... thing. Oh, bless your little primate brain. I'm <laughs> the room with you. Am I? Technology. Yeah, that's what I think about your plasma screen <laughs> seven-inch television. Not 4, 4K, all right. 4K pieces. <laughs> 4,000 pieces of glass. <laughs> Let's continue on upwards. No, we're not going down this time. We're heading back up. Totally different. Just like that one Ed Ed and episode where the only way it goes up uh. and they get stuck in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's the next? What's the next test? Ah, uh, it's another velocity oh. test with excursion funnels oh. and redirection. Oh, damn. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I'm just waiting for the test where they combine everything. 
I'm actually expecting that <laughs> soon since we're <laughs> since we're pretty close to the end. Mm -hmm. So what you have to do here, folks, is that you need to find a way to use the excursion funnels to lower the platform so that you can go on those platforms and make your way up to the elevator, which is on the top. We. But this is when you need to use the again use the funnels to build up velocity <laughs> to launch yourself across the room. They look so traumatized. Right. Yeah, and you can tell from the noises they're making that they're really distressed as well. Mm -hmm. And all because Wheatley wants to test. Test, test, test. <laughs> so you see here, it act that button that lowers that platform, but we need to redirect this laser, this laser to, get to lower the other platform. And then when we're on that platform, Move them off so that the platforms rise one by one. So I need to find that redirectional cube wherever it is. It's in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the corner of the room, you stupid. Oh, there should have been an Easter egg up there in, the, in those glass tubes there. That's where the, the defective turrets are at. There's the cure. <laughs> oh wait, was that the turret? Ah, I was about to say if that was the redirectional cube. <coughs> All right, we have to shut this one off to. I think this redirects the funnel, or it just turns it off completely. This again, this one took me a while to just to figure out. Because again, we're into the last area of the game, folks, where the puzzles are really, really thinking. So there's the redirectional cube. How do I think? <laughs> ah, I had to shut off the funnel because that was blocking my path to go through there. Hmm. Now I can use the redirectional cube to aim the laser up there and then put the cube back on the button, on the ceiling. Hmm, music is sinister. I wonder if we're playing under the rules of an evil overlord. <laughs> what did they say there? No idea, that's speaking robotic gibberish. So that's one platform. You step on the platform, folks. And get rid of the portal. Yes, so that it can raise the platform. Then you then you just do the same with the excursion funnel. Have but you ever fired a portal at a point where a laser has actually been able to hit you through it? Because <laughs> <Think so. laughs> you've forgotten where it was and then you fire it and then the laser just all of a sudden goes through it and hits you. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think that happened years ago. So once you're on this platform, you turn it off, you? and you off you go. Well, because your tests are shite. <laughs> well, what do you think, GLaDOS? He's a fucking idiot. <laughs> it's still blue screen. <laughs> Does it ever change? I don't think so. From this point on, no. Ah, oh, this puzzle. This was really, really hard. Programmed in one last tremor for all time's sake. Two, like one or two more tremors in there just for fun. Morning. Core overheating. I then keep his job. I'm not a monster. Ignore what he's saying. Though. Just keep on testing. <laughs> like you see, the, that that's activating the platforms. You need to redirect the laser, but you okay. also need to be on those platforms while also avoiding that wall, which is covered in lasers. Where it does that thing where not you can clip through them, but you take damage, but it freezes your movement, so the platforms so will get stuck. Yeah, the platforms will continue on, but you'll still be in one position. All right, so you'll fall to your death. Yes. Yeah. Again, I just noticed the bottomless pit. <laughs> and the cube is all the way around the other side. This one took a lot of time to figure hmm, out. Let me guess. Hmm. Four jump cuts. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. So I'm on the platform. I need to figure out where to shoot the the portal to move to shoot the laser onto the activation switch to make the platform move, yeah. but also figure out how to get past the laser. Ah, there, there we go. go. That one turns off the laser. So this is where it has to be really, really fast. Oh. <laughs> you got to keep an eye on which square because the path the way the patterns are, you can see the little squares. Yeah. You need to keep an eye. Okay, which square is for which laser, and then switch between the two. Ah, but the problem is, a cube lands on there, so you need to use the platforms so again. So wait for the platform to go back, then yes. press it. And then go back on the platform again to bring the cube with you. 
pretty hard to see where it is though, so... Yeah, it's there. There it is. Don't fall off. Has it <laughs> ever fallen off before? Aye, uh, many times. Many, many times in the past. Is that still the one that can move around as well? Um, I think so. So you have to hope that A, it lands on the platform, and B, it doesn't walk off. <laughs> oh no, it's the redirectional cube. Ah. But now I have to get on that platform to catch it. Because ah. it's not the one that moves. And how will we do that? <laughs> Just do the same thing again. Find a way back onto the platform and grab the cube with me. But this time, take do exactly the same thing as you did before to get the cube, but this time take the cube with you. One jump cut? Let's see. <laughs> but this is really finicky because, again, you're trying to go as fast as you can. Oof. <laughs> Come on now. There we go. What is that beeping, Mimi? That's the laser activating. That's the turret activation. Oh. <laughs> there it was. You almost did it. Yep. Almost done it, but now how do I get over there? This is where I realized I fucked up because I can need to take <laughs> the cube somewhere else. You done fucked it up. <laughs> there we go. Oh, he's just went ahead and destroyed her. Yep. <laughs> look, he doesn't even know what they are. Does he even know what we're doing right now? Nope. And look what he's doing. <coughs> he's... Why are you caring about... <coughs> See, he's fucking up now. <laughs> um, sure, I guess there's no harm in killing the robot. Oh, I want my defective turrets back. Right, on to the next test. Where, where are my defective turrets, damn it? You have a thing. You really have a thing for those turrets, don't you? They're funny. Is it not even finished? No, not yet. No, the, no is he not even finished constructing this test? Nope. <laughs> There's always a set number of tests, but you see when yeah. you look at those numbered panels, it tells you how many tests you have yeah. to do in total. Let's say this is number 15, and it might say this is 15 out of 21. Because he was saying there that he was still getting it ready, uh, when he's obviously not finished it. Again, just destroyed it in order to make another one. Yeah. <laughs> now this time, folks, we've got the excursion funnels and the gels. Because what you need to do is you need to use the excursion funnel to carry the gel with you, and then it'll make like a big long bubbles of gel. And then when you got a pan, when you got a floor ready, just turn off the funnel, and it will cover the entire floor in that gel. It's a good. It's a. It's basically a speed up way to cover. Let's say you need to cover an entire area of gel. Did that box? Did that turret just bounce there? Yes. Have physics engine right. at its finest. In you go. Stand on the button. Give me some iron brew. <laughs> I'll shoot you, you tweety old crow. <laughs> <laughs> what was it, the library, and then the librarian comes along, and Aye. then the guy in the crow bar and the bard outfit just says that to Iron brew 32, pure <laughs> mental stimulation in a can. <laughs> so this is what you have to do, folks. Ooh, physics. Make sure you get a big long line of gel, and then turn off the funnel, and voila. There you go. Now you too can be the Flash. <laughs> I don't remember the Flash being orange. <laughs> and, no, there we go. Flash is yellow. I reverse is yellow. Are there any Flashes that wear orange now? Nope. That would look silly. Well, you can wear orange and Injustice too. True, but... I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Anyway. Now we have to use the excursion funnel on the distance to stop ourselves from falling over to our bombless pit. We And off we go. Yes, you have to go away all the way to the left because as you can see, it's a bombless pit. Wait, is that a barrier? Yes, if I go through ah. here, it'll shut off the portals. That's why I'm, I'm being a bit hesitant because I know if I go through here, but then I realized, ah, there we go, problem solved. <laughs> Yes, and I just go back the way. Yep, and that's the funnel there. It will carry me to the door and stop me from falling into the bottomless pit. 
And the poor turret, left behind forever. Yes. But then again, when Wheatley crosses this place, it will be crushed. <laughs> there we go. You two are gonna love this big surprise. In fact, oh god, it's just another dull, boring surprise that GLaDOS gave us before. Love it until you until it kills you, until you did. <laughs> All right, I don't know whether you're uh, you're picking up on what I'm saying there. But... <laughs> Thank you, GLaDOS. <laughs> he just doesn't care at this point. <laughs> Test 16. Sorry, sorry, my fault. Oof. The subtitle says trying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, some games do that where the subtitles miss, miss a few lines here and there. Ah, this one. Oh god damn it, why are they not defective? So now we have to use the blue gel because whenever the blue gel hits those turrets, it makes them bounce in the air. Ow, oh, ow, 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 ow. Aw, good. They're not defective. I want my known north, damn it. You'll get it at some point, alright? Or you can go just go back and watch the previous part. <laughs> uh, there, I was watching the like a video of a guy who like recorded some of the phrases that they were saying when they were getting tossed away or like uh, when they were trying to aim at them. I think one of my favorites is when he's like, Yeah, check this out. Ah, <laughs> uh, no bullets. <laughs> and then there was another one where he tries to fire. Ah, <laughs> uh, wham, 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 wham. I'm not defective. <laughs> <laughs> and when they get tossed away. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is just perfect. Ah, <laughs> uh, this one's a timed puzzle for all the blue gel folks, so you can only use it a certain amount of times. That's what that so that inner circle is. That's basically a countdown clock. Oh, can you imagine a free-to-play portal game where you only had a certain number of portal uses? Oh, that would, that would be really, really finicky. <laughs> so now we got to get that blue gel over to the turrets. Not like that. <laughs> I think there are. I think there is a play for a portal one where a guy's like, I don't know if it was like maybe thirteen portals he used mm -hmm. to finish the game or something like that. One well, of this, those advanced playthroughs. This one's a little bit of a fast oh, one, fuck. folks, where <laughs> you need to go on the funnel, you need to go with the, the funnel, and then step on the button, and get it to go backwards. And, well, first of all, you need to go back, get it back to the original position, but be careful with the gel, folks. When it hits that end bit, the gel will disappear. Like, it won't be that big, long trail. And then you get it to go over here, wait for it to go over the turrets, oh, this and... Is really taxing. And let it go once the it's over the turrets, and watch them bounce. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I'm evil, evil maniacal <laughs> laughter whenever I'm killing the turrets. And sound the Joker laugh. Right, let's continue on. Don't you no, feel so much better bomb. when you don't have murderous turrets trying to gun you down? <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't bring back that mechanic back in the original portal, which was the energy balls that fly across the room. Uh, they didn't bring that back. Well, those worked with the physics engine as well, so I'm guessing there might have been a bit, quite a bit of random mm -hmm. uh, RNG with it when it came uh, to manipulating it. So I suppose so. Unless you could manipulate that... Mm -hmm freely enough to actually solve the puzzle, it might just mm -hmm. end up being one of those random factors of chance where it's just frustrating. Aye. And... Oh, bugs. Solved it? Good. Yes, Good we one. solved it. Good for you. <laughs> so, he's inexplicably happy all of a sudden, even though he should be going out of his mind with test withdrawal. And he's got a surprise for us. What right, as we figure out what that surprise is, we'll see you in the next part, folks. The pop-up book! <laughs>